Hey, so it's Nathan Wallace coming at you from the Cyberical Engineering Offices outside New Orleans, Louisiana, with another Cyberware tip of the day. Today's topic is geotagging. Basically, every time you take a picture, the GPS coordinates for where you took this picture is embedded inside the file. So if you were to share that file, uh, if you were to send it to someone, they could actually open that file up, click properties, and see exactly where that picture, that image was taken. So, geotagging. So basically, here's the example. So we have an image, you know, please ignore the drawing skills, right? So, <laughs> little girl chasing a balloon. And let's say, you know, you're just enjoying the, uh, the park with your family. Uh, and then you were to upload this file to some website. And let's say the social media website, they don't extract out that geotagging data, that GPS uh, latitude and longitude. They don't extract it out. They don't delete it. So whenever they post that image to the social media platform, anybody right anybody and you know sadly I'm, I'm sure you're kind of realizing where i'm going with this you know if someone a predator for instance could actually look at this image download it and know exactly where you and your family go to play on the weekends or or you know your your kids where you bring them to which park y'all frequent so you know you have to be careful right you have to be careful some of the big G, uh, social media platforms they do delete this uh but just this is something to pay attention to so Really, you know, when you look at this image, when you take this image, you know, in the, the file itself, you have the, basically the hex, the, the data where this image is. So, you know, each little pixel corresponds to a little block here, and it's basically just hexadecimal, you know, uh, code that represents, okay, what's the RGB? What's the uh, red, green, blue color value for that pixel? Well, at the top, there's actually this thing called metadata that stores instance uh, for instance where it was taken you know back in the old days right whenever we had a digital camera it actually just superimposed the the timestamp on top of it right well now everything's digital smartphones it basically has the date the, so the the day and time that image was taken as well as the gps lat and long so every time click 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 you take a picture it's taking a snapshot as far as the GPS coordinates grabbing it and then putting it inside the metadata of this image as well as the camera so you can look at you know the type of camera it was was it an iPhone what type of iPhone uh, the the settings the even though I think the iOS version as well may even be in there uh, so that all gets kind of embedded and saved in the metadata so you know, you definitely want to, before you upload these images, you just, you definitely want to make sure that, you know, either the social media site uh, kind of grabs them and deletes that data or, you know, it's not included at all. So, for instance, if you want to, you know, your iPhone, uh, Android also has a similar feature where you can actually go in and basically go to settings, privacy, location services, camera, and say never. But there is an issue, there is a drawback, right? You know, there is a convenience fee, uh, a convenience. whenever you open up the Photos app, you can actually sort all your photos based on location. And you say, oh yeah, I remember we took that, you know, vacation there, and you, you, we took this on the way, you know, we stopped off at this cool little gas station, and bam, we took this picture. Oh, that's exactly where it was at. So whenever you do this, you actually lose that. You lose that capability. Um, but it is a trade-off, something to think about. Uh, so hope, hope uh, this is helpful. For more tips and tricks, check out staysafeonline.org or you can check out our website, cybericle.com. Cyber safely.